Hello my beautiful darlings. Welcome to all my new subscribers. This is going to be my very first channeling heaven session. Now, before you press the, oh hell no, I don't want to see that. I'm not going to be trancing and prancing. I'm not going to be swinging my head around 360 degrees and spitting green joke. Oh no, no, no. Um, I decided because of the power that the um, Israel video bought, I would like to share something with you, which is me going up to the Crystal Palace. I identify as lots of spiritual people identify as that as well, which is the home of the archangels, heaven, the reality now where our loved ones reside, um, the omnipresence, the source of the universe. I normally go up there myself and get information and, you know, the time I set my podcast and on here, um, all they said this, they said that I'm going to actually try and do it now for you and film it. It's a complete experiment. I have no idea if it's going to work. I propose to knock on the door at the Crystal Palace um, and I just have no clue what's going to happen. I can be taken to the Seraphim, Archangels, Spirit Guides. I could go to the reality today, I've got no idea. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna describe it as I go um, because I feel that this is a time for me to start bringing messages from the divine to you on what they want to talk about. So I have got no clue what they're gonna talk about, if anything, I really hope it works. I've got no idea, I'm really excited, but terrified it's not gonna work at the same time, but you know, the dream came to me, the psychic visitation came to me about Israel, so I, I assume that they want me to do this. Um, so they are going to be bringing messages to you, to mankind, via me. Um, so let's see how we go. Um, I've got no clue if I'll close my eyes, if I'll stare away. Um, this is me looking to the right, that's how I normally work. I look to the right, that, that kind of um, allows me to see things. Um, so just bear with me, all right? But it's not trance, it's not bullshit. I'm just literally gonna go up like I do meditation and talk it through. I'm gonna guide you through what I'm going through consciously and um, impart any messages or anything that the divine want to bring to the public. So let's do it, okay? And then my phone dings. Do I want some selenite? I think I might have a little bit of selenite. Nice little angel stone. Okay. Just to let you know, I might edit this bit, but it'll be only because I don't want really you to sit and watch me do for ages. See how quick I can link up. So I'm on the path that leads to Crystal Palace already. Thank you. And the door has been open and it's Archangel Gabriel. The reason I know this is because he has a yellowy copper and golden haze around him and I recognise his image that he portrays to me to say that he is Gabriel. He's pointing forwards and directing me to a door that I know leads to the celestial gardens. Julianus is there, one of my soul guides. Behind him are the seraphim, singing to many souls. He's confirming with me that what I said was right in my last video about Israel. Israel. And that the souls are all being dealt with and are being healed by the seraphim, as I said. Sorry for that background noise, it's nothing spooky, it's just my little teddy who decides to turn into an acrobat, a fiddler, a player, 
every time I go on screen, when he normally talks, sorry, normally sleeps, talk, yeah, I know, sorry, talk off, okay, so, um, Julianus is opening his palm and there's a big lump of ebbing gold stuff and I have to work out. This is precious and it represents time. He's now placing that in his cloak or habit and he's taking my hand. I'm walking past a seraphim and I'm seeing multiple souls from the war being healed. They are safe, they are well. He's walking me around what you would identify as the fountain of youth. I call it the Oculus of Gaia. And taking me round to the Halls of Learning, where I know Metatron resides, the scribe of God and our guides, and where we make our soul contracts. can smell honeysuckle, bougainvillea. Oh, it's incredible how you do that. It's an archway that goes into the doorway that leads. I'm in the doorway, checkered flooring. Plaques are to my right and my left of people that have signed the Akashic records. I'm getting a sense that we're going to be getting a lesson today that he wants to impart with you. There's the Adam and the Eve statue. This is all in my new book, Earthwalkers, by the way. Can't talk too much about life stuff as I'll come down again. Come up. Just getting tightness in my chest and heart palpitations. I'm up high. I normally do this in meditation state, so feeling a bit sick. It's not the same as linking with spirit people. Just bear with me while I've, I've become a, um, accustomed to the energy. Hang on. Right, it's taken me into a chamber I've never seen before, which doesn't surprise me because this is a new way of working. I've never done this before in my life only in trance sessions and in workshops on a small level. It's, the only way I can describe it is the chamber is all moving. It's very much like the omnipresence cavern. Um, it's all moving. There's trees, sand, clocks, things, hourglass figure things, whatever they're called. You're going to have to bear with me on my vocabulary as I find it hard to pick words when I'm in different dimension this are given to me. Hourglass, sand, thing, time, that. Trees growing, leaves sprouting, things breaking through the earth to grow. Huge trees, tree of life symbol. <laughs> it's telling me off but it's not telling me off it's like wow hello I haven't seen you for a while I haven't seen you sit for me for a long time it's funny I'm going to start doing it now though <laughs> TikTok sorry 
Julianus, you may have watched other things on the screen where Julianus talks of TikTok time. He talks about Gregorian, Gregorian time, whatever that is. Um, humans are part of a routine. They have to have time brackets, mythology, routine. They have to know where they're going to be and what they're going to do to establish a way of coping on the earth plane. Ears are ringing like hell. The reason why I showed you a lump of human gold in imagery is to show you that people sometimes think that this is the most precious thing on the earth plane when it isn't. Monetary, materialism and things that the humans have made valuable are certainly not what valuable for a human soul to endure, to embrace and to absorb. Love, compassion, humility, self-health, both mind, body, soul is the most important thing that takes place on your human experience. The reason why we allow you to live by Gregorian time is because we know that this brings healing to certain situations that you find very hard to get through and find particularly intolerable. <laughs> that's my, that's my watch dinging with emails, Juliana, shall I take it? It's not liking that. Sorry, I don't know what to do with it. Please, Teddy. Teddy will see all the energies. Take the energy off your wrist. He's so funny, I love him, I adore him. He's interfering with the, with the cosmic flow, the energy that resides within both of us right this very time. And so you see, we have to give this routine to you because you would not be able to steer your lives without it. It's almost an anchor that we give you time. And the other reason that we do give you TikTok time is because what happens is that you will heal in the time slots that are given on the earth plane in sections. I'm gonna, can I? I don't know if to talk or repeat. There are certain theories of evolution. It's bringing up Albert Einstein, Darwin. There are certain theories, but this is the main crux of the matter. When something... Be <laughs> He's talking about me. He doesn't like me doing the celebrity's notes. It's not right. Do you know what? It's entertainment purposes only, Julianne. She's saying that... Um, when you talk of people that are pertinent in your entertainment world, they are the thing that beats around the planet at that particular time. However, with, your, with our Gregorian way that we provide for you, time for the person that is being looked at, ostracised, shamed, scandalised, feels it's the end of their world. The thing is, is that we have human experiences here for an allocated time. You do have a beginning and an, a definable end. And so when people get to a crisis like this, we then just allow Gregorian time to take this phase of energy away. The spike of energy depletes. And so you see that within a week or so, Nobody even cares or knows about what happened with that scandal, that said story, that said version, that said fable, no matter how serious, which is a shame in certain extents, because if it's something exceptionally serious that hits your entertainment schedules, such as it's not entertainment. Oh, OK, he's calling it entertainment. What he's called is talking about social media and news. The murders of people, the heinous acts that take place that humankind choose to do upon each other these again unfortunately do turn into something 
that was yesterday's time. The reason we allow this is we never forget, and lots of souls never forget anything that happens, particularly if it's their trauma and their experience. However, the time sessions that we give you allow you to move on from this subject. For instance, let's talk about a previous relationship you may have had in the past. We are talking about an intimate relationship, could it even been a soulmate connection. What happens is, is that at the time of you breaking from that partner, the world has ended as you see it as a human. Your pain, the gut-wrenching fear of being alone, the times that you spent, you continually recall ever so much in your mind. The seed of your mind can create growth as it is in this chamber, however you choose to spend it on fantasizing and romanticizing about that relationship when really it wasn't serving you very well in the first place. Think about one of your earliest relationships. Now sit in your present, having Gregorian time provided that healing space. How do you feel about that person now? Do you remember the songs you used to play? Do you remember the clothes that they used to wear? Do you remember all of the pain? Not really. It's very much like, as Nikki says, on childbirth, I'm not trancing. Nikki, that Nikki says, Nikki, Nicola, Adelaide. Can you call me? I'll say Nikki, you say Nicola, and I'll just repeat it. Scows. The fact is, is that you do not hold a lot of emotion connected to that space. You do not hold a lot of the love or the torn feelings in your heart chakra area because we have created time to make that feel lesser for you. The arcs of time are also provided for you to carry on your experience and all of the trauma lesson in time, hence why humankind has created the cliche, time is a healer. Let's not forget, however, the true trauma that's taken place to a soul that's notched its essence with sadness, fear. Perhaps you've been attacked, perhaps something has happened that's invaded your personal and spiritual space that you cannot move on from. Again, we allow this time to be brought in so that you can count, amount, surmise that there may be a time where you need to actually deal with this issue. For some, they don't choose to move from the trauma. They don't choose to move from the past or the memories and stay stuck in an isolated, scared and withdrawn element throughout the rest of their human experience, thus leading to possibly breaching or broaching their life contract by not allowing themselves to move on from this trauma. Some merely cannot move on from the trauma and this is their life contract they have chosen. It's all individual for each person. The sands of time pass for us to help you heal from experiences. We are aware, even though we cannot no longer feel it, how much certain things happen to the human experience that create heartache, pain, misery, anger, jealousy, hatred, resentment. We're aware of these emotions, but we can't feel them anymore. So for instance, let me say it again, please stop. So for instance, if you come up here, your healing phase could be a second in TikTok time or it could be a year in TikTok time. For here, it doesn't matter. We purely deal with the essence, the frequency, and we work with that frequency. However, because you have an allotted time down here, we need to stick to routine Gregorian time so that we can allow you to get the best experience possible. If you are stuck in a traumatic state, us as spirit guides will come down and allow you to be changing your mind on certain ways and actions to deal with this previous trauma. However, if your progress is being hindered by your past and we know that there are other opportunities or things to come in your human experience that will transform your life, we will create a tower moment. This means that we will inspire you to be in a place or a time or create an action or behaviour that will change your life. Hence what we did with Nicola. 
Thanks for that. Hang on a minute, please. Can you remember my physical body, please, Julian? Yep, yeah, I'm just saying. So can you understand why we have TikTok time on the earth plane and no TikTok time up here in the divine spaces of the celestial frequencies? In essence, you have TikTok time for you to get over certain subjects, problems, situations, people and other souls. Without routine, you would surely be lost. You'll be the lost sheep that you were before time was even invented. <laughs> it does frustrate us. It frustrates us that people live to certain times, live to certain routines and don't allow themselves to be free and show the pure, the pure colour of their soul. But if that's their choice, so be it. If the ego creates too much of a validated life of having to adhere to time all of the time and having to work and having to push for material gain this gold that i hold in my palm which is worthless to anybody here before you even connect yourself to the earth plane it matters not what matters is that we give you the best human experience do not place your material aspects as a front line to how you live as you can see from Nicola, she has had the gold in her palm and lost the gold in her palm. And she now realises that nothing matters apart from healing from past trauma. Embracing the future. Exercising self-love, exercising self-righteousness to a certain level that doesn't invade the ego or others around. Allow oneself to live in tranquility, peace and balance. Allow oneself to connect to the divine, knowing that there is always an extra source to assist, to comfort, to bring compassion during your choice, your destinations whilst on the earth plane. We try to alleviate your pain. We try to send you ideas, signs, synchronicity to move you away from a red zone that you may be going towards. However, we can't. We cannot interfere with your free will. If you continue to walk towards that red zone, we then have to try and do something to bring you back from that space. So in essence, your TikTok time could be used up, let's say for 10 of your years in the red zone when you could have been out of the red zone within say a week of your TikTok time and live in your best time. Is it something that the humans have brought up to us in consciousness, living your best life? Yes, it is. It is. That's what people are saying now, Julianas. Of all the lifetimes I have seen, we have never been at such a critical level of unrest, unruliness, tyranny. So, yes, I shall... I shall impart information to Nicola. I shall impart lessons, philosophy and language to the masses if you so wish to listen. However, everything we say from whatever source that you may connect with, we don't just say it for folly. Listen, absorb and try and work with what we're telling you. We will tell you and help you with various things that will help you lead a better human experience. It's from your heart chakra. It's from your divine chakras. Yeah, it's a word. See through your third eye. Feel through your heart chakra. Listen to your intuition. And know that if TikTok time has not brought healing to anything in your life, Go forward and find and ask for the right people to be placed in front of you. And we will do everything we can to assist with that. And people like me, guys, I'll just say this bit. People like me um, can assist you. You know, what angels to invoke, what crystals to use, what healing 
frequencies to use, sound frequencies, what people to go and see, you know, um, counselling, quantum field work, kinesiology. He's down, I'll do the, can I do it? It's basically what he's saying is, from the sounds of it is, is that um, they've got a responsibility to try and help us do the best they can. Ooh. It's always so bright when I open my eyes. Um, God, I, forgot, I don't know what he said, I can't remember. But I think what he's trying to say is, is that they do give us this time um, and because we monitor it and we kind of think, oh, it's been a year, oh, I better have sorted this out. You know, we start bringing our consciousness to dealing with things if it's been a certain amount of time, which is really quite valid. And I've never been told this before, so it really is quite valuable. Um, and also the fact of how we can waste our time, how we can stand still in our own time space because we refuse to move on or refuse to get well or refuse to cope or deal with whatever's going on. Um, I think that's what he's trying to say. And I feel like he's trying to say that your time down here is more precious than any gold that you can hold in your palm. Um... Let's have a look, see what else goes on. I think my heart's going to burst out of my chest in a minute. Okay, so um, he's now got a quill and paper out. So he's saying about writing out long-term goals, things that are stopping you from going forward, things that will help you go forward, and things that you may have to eradicate from your path, whether it be people, situations, job, whatever, to get there. And the courage, write out the courage, the pros and cons of how you're going to do that to implement that change. And so the benefit of time is, is that there could be something going on where you think, oh, it's been six months now. Do you know what I mean? And it's about time I dealt with that. About time. He's just highlighted about time. So use your time wisely. There's the saying, I know, hang on, which is, um, oh God, it's gone, I can't bloody create my own thoughts, shit. Oh, lost it. I can't, I'm going to have to go back up, sorry. What is that going to be then? So basically, very quickly, show me a calendar, show me the 2nd of November. I don't know what's going to happen on the 2nd of November. I hope it's not another war or bloody disaster or something. It's highlighting the 2nd of November, 2-11. Um, I hope, I, I, God, this is really hard to do. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember if it made sense about writing out the stuff, but I can't. Grab back onto that link. Sorry, this is so real. Um, I don't know. I think so. It's going to happen again around the second. It's going to be a natural disaster or something. that's going to happen, but um, so it's pointing to all the trees and the shoots and the plants and about the fact that they. Recognize time without a tick tock clock. They recognize their intuition drives them to die off in the winter and rebirth in the spring, to bloom in the summertime, to absorb the heat, the radiance, um, and then to start to close down when the cold comes in to protect those shoots that are potentially going to grow again. So he's talking about nature not having to adhere to times. Bring yourself down a level. Don't allow time to be your enemy. Make it your friend. Allow time to heal. Time for yourself. Time for you to discover. Time for you to spiritually grow. Time for you to develop your connection to source. Make time for you. That's what he's talking about. The sec second of November don't know what it is, just a big two, he's written on a calendar, I've got no clue what that's about, have you shown me something else, 
and it's, it's showing me like earth and plants and trees so i don't know if it's referring to some sort of natural disaster or some problem beginning of november happy days And this is a reaction, I've said this, I knew it, I bloody knew it. This is a reaction to um, abuse of the planet. It's chugging along, it's breathing smog and smoke. This is for another session by the looks of it. Um, and merely the disasters, lots of souls state their punishments or why, why are we losing souls? Why has God allowed this? Nobody has allowed this apart from humankind itself. They've allowed it through the TikTok of time to advance themselves to an almost form of abuse against the planet and the unsaid beings. By that I feel he means things that can't communicate, like animals, babies, children. I think that's what he means by unsaid, whatever he just said. So until we continue to turn the wave and acknowledge the fifth continent, I mean, I've got no clue what the fifth continent is. I've said this before. It's in my book. I don't know. And we start to turn the tide of compassion, love, healing frequency that allows the darkness to dissipate. The earth shall continue to react to its treatment. The laws of attraction are the laws of attraction are exactly the same in every life force and being. If they are attacked, they will fight back. If they are squandered, they will grow stronger eventually. If they are taken for granted, a time of reckoning will come. A time of reckoning means that any planet that hosts intelligence, has to have yin and yang and balance. And if this balance goes in the favour of the inhabitants to the detriment of the host, then things bring change. Things, I mean, happenings. You could call them wars, disasters, accidents, weather. You can have your conspiracy theories, you can have your theories. Yes, there are definite government ways that are trying to experiment, protect, evolve from other intelligences, from other planets. Yes, this exists. Yes, there are things that are being done to experiment on humans. As some of the tyrannical see these as the, what do you call them? It's a guinea pig. The guinea pigs. But this is for another session, another subject, is it? This is for another TikTok time. This was just an introduction to see how Nicholas' soul and frequency could blend with me and vocalise and come gra become grounded when she needed to be. We shall exercise and explore many dimensions and layers of this space. We shall bring messages from our cousins, the archangels. We potentially could bring messages from higher sources in the reality layer. And I, of course, with the other two souls that guide Nicola, can also bring forth lessons for mankind. For this particular time, TikTok time, for this particular time, I don't know what he called it, but I'm going to call it time. For this particular, get the word, I wish to just ask on behalf of myself and the celestial bodies within all of the guides that connect with you down there, wish the same. Allow time to be your gift. Use it wisely, heed it wisely. And know that you can only create a prison in your own mind and your own physical body if you choose. Be free and allow yourself to embrace perhaps 
listen to this a number of times, make notes, create life plans and goals, and know that if trauma is still your present, that TikTok time will remind you that it needs to be in its past. I bid you, but as I see it, it's done. I don't know how long it's been, but I, I suppose, God, that was quick. There's no airs or graces. Because he knows it will knacker me. He's busy on my hand. We now have just pinged into the celestial garden near the roses. And I'm walking. Oh my God, I can smell it. never get over that as long as I live I'll never get over that smell those flowers they are dark red almost burgundy color um, there's more blood to be spilled I'm sorry to say He's just taken one of the roses and showed me the imagery of, of finger on the thorn. And it's almost like he's saying, you know, you've grown this, humankind has grown this, nurtured it, perfected it, which I think he means terrorism, hatred, war. He said, she said, they did, he did, now we react, now we like, we'll come back at you and you'll come back at us, feuds. Um, and it's like almost a reap what you sow situation. Um, and the problem is, is that the, the, the people that are creating this reaping um, are not the ones that are, that are suffering. They will, they will when they go up at the moment, they're working their hardest to bring those souls up. Um, and so there will be more bloodshed and it will continue. Um, there's going to be more forces involved, more... Um, oh God, what's the word? They show me like the, Jesus. It's like jets and more artillery and more war stuff. Oh my God, um, please excuse me, I can't. There's going to be forces getting involved. It's going to be heightened a lot more. Nothing can change for the time being. However, they are working hard to bring the souls up. Um, what was that other bit? Still in the rose garden. It's a private message, it's a private, just personal message, small roses, take your time, embrace the scent, embrace the softness on your cheek, take time for yourself. I was just saying something about, okay, hang on. Rose is significant. I wonder, a lot of you have seen some form of rose or something as a synchronicity for this connection, as some will not acknowledge or absorb what has been said as mere trajectory, trajectory, projection. I don't know that word. An imagination. <laughs> well, I don't care. I'm doing it. People can. So what they want, even though he says, no, but you it very much affect you. Oh, don't I? Just checking Ukraine, because he's talking about war. I just, that's, that's longer, that's going on longer than this other one. Yeah, I think I've tried to look at 2nd November. I think it's another natural disaster or something. They can never change. They will never change until the yin and yang is established again. Hosts and inhabitants at the moment it's not. So there'll be continued kicks of, well, you, you've done this, so we're going to kick back. So I get that. I've been saying that a lot. They've been telling me that a lot. They as in guides, angels, whatever. Anything else you would like to impart with? Um, the public with the tribe with with the humans that will be connected to this entertainment screen sorry to call it entertainment that's what he calls it entertainment screen I 
no, just a, sec just a second, um, what I, I said, um, to send the seraphim. So imagine tall, glowing figures with white robes, dark hair, flailing, flying with four wings and four faces towards anywhere where war is being encountered. Okay, so he's covering other war zones as well, all right? Um, if you could do that for them and for the souls that are perishing, that would be very effective um, on a human scale. It will help to purge the energy that's resonating amongst the ones that bring the hatred and the evil. That is for another time. Okay, I'll just ask him about that. Is it for another time? Um, book, what is the book for, please? Take it upon yourselves to learn, research. We flow it to souls like me. They flow it to souls like me where I can just get it and talk it. Learn your crafts, learn your development, learn your way forward. If you do not have enough faith in yourself, have too much ego to block the necessary flow we need to connect with you, read, research. Enable your souls to light up, to spread that light to others and to bring that light back up to us so that we can help you. Are you aware that most souls on the earth plane are not connected to their spirit guide or back to source? We don't want to make it too easy because we don't want to smooth or disrespect the life plans that have been chosen for each incarnation. However, we would like more connection purely because of look at the state of your planet. Fair play. Oh God, I feel wrong. Open my eyes. Rough. It's kissing my hands. Give me a leaf, it looks like a bay leaf or something, and you just put it in my hands. It's a message for me. Kissing my forehead does that. Oh, bless him. I'm coming away from him. Going through the door into the, I call it the foyer. Out through the main door, portal down. Oh my God, that smell, Jesus. It's like a mix between fresh flowers and incense. It's just insane smell. God, if I could just bottle it. Sin of the angels. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Just drawn through a little layer of the Rainbow Bridge, seeing the pets. There's lots of people here that have just recently lost their pets. They're fine, they're well. I've just gone through. There's this really lovely little, um, not wiry, but like quite coarse head terrier. Mm, he's only gone recently. He's up and over. I love him. Just literally bang through the frequency of the rainbow bridge where the pets are. They're not they're all on their own, you know, they go off and look after they're looked after by your loved ones, but that particular dog's literally just gone up. Just gone up. Reminds me a bit of Tintin's dog, but not as white. Oh, what Sammy is it? S -A. I'm not gonna stop doing that now. Um but yes, let me just come back down. So I'm just creating an imagery of me just gently floating down to my house. Coming back down in 
into my room, sitting back in my physical body. I've got to wait for the heart palpitation to stop so I know that the connection is stopped. I imagine turning the light off of the beam of light that connects up. Close the trap doors of my crown and third eye chakra and my throat chakra. Start to wave on the toes and my fingers. Forty five minutes, holy shiza. Right, okay. I need to just go and grab myself chocolate. I don't know. And a cup of tea. Um, let me know what you think. It's the most weirdest thing I've ever done because I've never gone up that high and vocalised it. I hope it made sense. Um, I'm just going to send it as it is. I'm not going to do anything. Um, please let me know if this is something that you want more of. I just feel a bit tired. I don't know if it's going to kill me or not. I'll soon find out. Um, but let me know in the comments below. Mad.